Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Emperor Roundus Maximus Cracks a Pack, and today we are visiting a new realm, or at least a realm that is new to us, and that is Ikoria, the Lair of Behemoths. Now, unless I run around in some spectacularly uninformed circles, I seem to recall this being a somewhat weaker set, was the general consensus there. Uh, you had you had some kind of janky mechanics like uh, mutate, which seemed more fun in in theory than in practice. Uh, not to mention the unmitigated disaster of companion and having to errata a whole entire mechanic for the first time in the game's history. Uh, there's a pretty good recent professor video about that. But uh, yeah, I, I've had some. I've 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 not really run into too much of that in the handful of Ikoria packs that I've opened so far. And I'm going to see if I can uh, avoid those things again today. Uh, sometimes I get a mutate card or a companion card, but that's just that's just kind of what we're in for here. This is a draft booster, of course, so, you know, no art card, no list card, nothing fancy like that. Just 15 cards in the cardboard Thunderdome today. Starting off with Of One Mind. This spell costs two less to cast. If you control a human creature and a non-human creature, Draw two cards. Wow, a potential two cards for one blue. That's not too bad. That's not too bad a start there. I'm, I'm already digger it, diggering it. I'm, I'm Dranith stingering it. Cycling, cycling cards deals damage. Yeah, cycling was also kind of a big deal in this set. They bring back cycling every now and then. Imposing Vantasaur. All right, vigil a three six with vigilance and cycling. That's. That's quite the little French vanilla beast we've got there. Startling development. Until end of turn, target creature becomes a blue serpent with base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four. Yes, that would be a startling development indeed. Dark bargain. Who hasn't had to make a dark bargain from time to time in their life? Who among us? Survivor's Bond. Choose one or both. You can return a target Crete human and, a, and or a target non-human. From the graveyard to the hand, uh, excavation mole. That's a that's a scary looking scary looking guy right there. Oh, green mill. That's kind of unusual. You don't see that every day. Suffocating fumes. <laughs> I've been known to launch a few of those in my time. Oh, crustacean. I know a guy who's gonna go nuts for that. A one six crab with flash. Good God. Does it get worse? Maybe, but barely, hardly. Fire prophecy. That's a that's quite the intense little eyeball. You might want to get that checked out, dude. You can, might have a might have a touch of the old conjunctivitis there, Mister Fire Prophecy. Trumpeting Nar. Some showcase art here. That's pretty. It's got a mutate cost, and because it's got uh, showcase art, it's not going to actually tell us what mutate does. Whenever this creature mutates, create a three three green beast creature token. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Glowstone Recluse, another mutator. A mutating spider, as a matter of fact, has a 2-3 spider with reach. Whenever it mutates, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, four mana for two plus one plus one counters? I'm not sure that's entirely economical. Duskfang Mentor, black plus two, a 1-3 human cleric. When it enters the battlefield, put a lifelink counter on target non-human creature you control. And what's our rare today? Oh, a general. Two mythics. Two days in a row. General Kudro of Dranith. We got some we got some commander material here, it looks like. Black plus white plus one. A 3-3 three, three legendary human soldier. Other humans you control. Get plus one plus one. Okay. Whenever General Kudro of Dranith or another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard, and for two and sacrifice two humans, destroy target creature with power four or greater. <laughs> okay, so you got some human tribal going on there. That's that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Black and white human tribal. Not something I can say I've ever considered, but this guy is, does not look afraid to throw to throw a human or two at a giant monster. He is, he's very, he's got the, he's got the Wilford Brimley Diabetes jowls 
going on there. All right. Well, Mr. Kudro of Dranith, welcome. Welcome to my rares and mythics binders. And I think we've got a foil behind this. Oh, no, just a basic win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. I forgot that basic wins come with draft boosters. Holy cow. That's a pretty planes. I like it. Well, all right. Hey, another. Wow. Our second mythic in a row. Two days in a row. Mythic first. First, the big old, the, the big old uh, borderless elephant, and then today, a general who can ride the elephant through the mountains to victory, General Kudro of Dranith. Bump, 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 bump,